So simplifying ratios with different units. Okay, let's have a look at question one. Simplify the ratio two hours to 30 minutes. The first thing you want to do is make the units the same. Okay, so do we do minutes or hours? I say we do minutes because then we get whole numbers. If we did hours, it would be two hours to 0 0.5, so, and then you're dealing with decimals, and that's not fun. So what we can do is two times how many minutes in an hour? 60. So two times 60 minutes to 30 minutes, okay? And simplified, that is 120 to 30. We still need to simplify further, and 30, can be divided into both sides, right? So we can do that, cross that out, and that's four, and we can cross this out, and then the final answer is just four to one. Yeah, do we understand that? Okay, good, let's try question two. Simplify the ratio 50 centimeters to three meters. Again, we wanna get the same units, and it's better to change it to centimeters, right? So we can say 50 centimetres times, uh, sorry, 2, 3 times 100 centimetres because that makes up 1 metre, okay? So then we can say that is 50 to 300, that's our ratio. Again, we want to uh, simplify that further. We can um, divide that by 50, which is 1, and divide 300 by 50, and that's 6, right? So the ratio is 1 to 6, okay? Good. Let's try question three. Let's try another question. Simplify the ratio of six days to three weeks. Again, let's change the unit of measurements. We'll change it to days, right? So we can, again, whole numbers. We can say six days to three times seven days, because that's how many days are in a week, right? So we can say six to 21. That's our simplified ratio. And, what, and how can we make that even more simpler? We divide it by three. So cancel that out, divide by three, that's two. Cancel this out, divide by three, that's seven. So our ratio is two to seven, okay? Okay, let's try question four. It says, simplify the ratio of 200 grams to five, uh, 1.5 kilograms, okay? Again, changing the unit of measurements to grams. Okay, that's a smaller one. We can get whole numbers. That's 200 grams to 1.5 times 1,000 grams because that's how many grams are in a kilogram. So we can say it's 200 to 1,500 or 1,500. And we can divide it um, by 100. Yes? So we cross that out, that's 2, and then cross this out, that's 15, right? So the final ratio is 2 to 15, okay?